This is the moment that Oakville has been waiting for since the final buzzer of last season's game when they took home second place. These guys have been chomping at the bit to get back here. They're out to prove the doubters and anyone who said that they couldn't get back on the stage. And I'm joined now by head coach John Krause. And Coach Krause, what are you expecting from your guys today? You know, hopefully their best game of the year. You know, that's what you try to do. In the postseason, I always feel like if you can play your best game, you keep moving on. And and um, I think they'll be ready to play. I think they're fairly loose. You know, we were here last year a little bit. So even though a lot of our guys maybe didn't get on the court as much, but uh, they were around it. They were in the atmosphere. And, um, you know, I hope in last year's experience is a little bit help for us today. That's one thing I noticed about your squad is that they seem very comfortable and they seem very relaxed. They know they've been here before. Yeah, we've had a good little run here in the last four or five years. And so a lot of those kids have been involved and been around it. And um, there's no question I think that helps. Anytime you can get your kids in big games, tough, tough situations. And we do a lot of that through the season on our schedule. So hopefully that pays off today. They're out to resolve their unfinished business. Thank you so much, Coach. We'll be back with more right after this. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. National studies show that students who participate in activities like music, sports, and drama not only have better grades and attendance, but they develop the character to handle adversity, the grace to accept defeat, and the self-confidence to start over. Take part. Get set for life. a double-double combined to advance Oakville to the title game once again. The seniors' presence in the paint will be a force to overcome. But look out for big-time buckets from Anawan's Owen Landwehr. The stone-faced senior was all business yesterday, leading all scores with 19 impressive points. what America's original March Madness is all about. Welcome into the Peoria Civic Center, where in just minutes, Oakville and Anawan will take the floor at Carver Arena. You are watching the 1A state championship game on NBC Sports Chicago. Hey, everyone, I'm Sierra Santos, and happy championship Saturday. The Rockets are looking for one thing and one thing only redemption no one had picked them to make it this far and now they want to show that they are the 1a state champions as for Anna one their head coach Alex Kopians has restored glory to his alma mater he came up short as an all-state senior but now they're in the midst of their best finish in program history for more on the 1a state title game let's go to our play-by-play -play -play team of Lee Hall and Cameron Smith 
All right, thank you very much, Sierra. Well, the Oakville team, they lost in the state championship, a heartbreaker they lost. Over 30 points of scoring from a year ago. Nobody expected them to be here, but they are here today on last year's experience propelling them to face one of the top defensive teams in this state. Well, Lee, the time has come. Can a gritty Anawan team slow down an Oakville team that's had their mindset on getting back to this point all season long? I'm excited to see how both teams answer that question. It's going to be a great game. All right, let's take a look at our headlines for this game. First, for the Rockets back in their second straight state title game. Yeah, this is very familiar territory for the Rockets. They've worked themselves to get back to this point. So can they step up and get the job done? That's what everyone wants to see on that side of the basketball. But I don't want to have something to say about that, right? That's right. We saw the Braves defense play so well yesterday. They knocked off three top 10 teams to get here. Well, if you know sports, you know that defense wins championships. And the Braves are hoping that that proves true for them today. They are so connected on that side of the ball, on their rotations, their closeouts. But do they have a final defensive stand in themselves? We will see. All right, it's the fourth-ranked Anawan Braves taking on the Oakville Rockets, who were here a year ago looking for redemption in today's Class 1A state title game. Broadway, and none of these actors will be accepting an Oscar anytime soon. Still, they are rehearsing for something important. While they learn their lines, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, that everyone has a part to play. Skills that will make them stars long after the curtain falls. The National Federation of State High School Associations reminds you that when kids take part in high school activities, they get set for life. Thank you. Can I help you today? Uh, no thanks. I'm just looking. Oh, this is cute. <clears throat> so? <laughs> you wouldn't do it there. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Like they're the fashion police. <laughs> You work hard, and you want to see your efforts pay off, literally. Whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations, at Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. 2018 IHSA Basketball State Finals are brought to you by Country Financial. Take simple steps at countryfinancial.com slash simple steps. And by Biagi's, where carryout is just another one of our specialties. As we remember the women in the armed forces serving us here and around the world, away from their families, protecting our freedom. Thank you, as we thank them. And now, please address the flag with your hand over your heart as Kevin Kuska, a senior at Pontiac Township High School, leads us in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts 
nights we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? And now let's meet the starting lineups for this 1A championship game. And a guard for Anawan, the 5'10 senior, two, Brendan Shaw. And a guard for Oakville, the 5'10 senior, three, Peyton Hari. Another guard for the Braves, a 6'3 senior, three, Jacob Wolf. Another guard for the Rockets. 6'2", senior, 5, Caleb Frederick. The third guard for Anawad, a 6'3", senior, 13, Owen Landwehr. The third guard for Oakville, a 5'8", junior, 14, Wyatt Crony. And a forward for the Braves, a 6'3", senior, 1, Ben Buresh. And a forward for the Rockets, a 6'3", junior, 10, Will Abel. And the other forward for Anawan, a 6'2", senior, 4, Dante Weathersby. And the other forward for Oakville, a 6'7", senior, 20, Luke Hensler. There you have our starting lineup. School bios, Oakville down in Washington County. Just uh, not too far from Belleville and St. Louis. Royal blue and orange, their colors. John Krause, the athletic director and head coach for Oakville. On the other side, fourth ranked Anawan. Just not, not too far northwest of Peoria, maybe an hour or so. Enrollment of 104 up in Henry County. Matt Nordstrom, the superintendent and principal, and the AD Matt Huber. And on the Lincoln Trail Conference, Oakville, an independent. Oakville, both of these teams coached by alumnus, alums, I should say. John Krause in his 18th season, 365 and 223. He's a 92 alum, played for Dave Luchtefeld, who coached 38 years and Amassed 738 wins. Alex Kopians at the other end in just his fourth season, 92 and 38. And we told you yesterday he was a player on the 2009 team that placed fourth in state. Here's a look at our officials Andre Bonehart, Daniel Dyra, Aaron Wright. Best wishes to them for a good game here as we are ready for the tip off of today's 1A state championship. Anawan ranked fourth in the final AP poll. Oakville got one vote in that final poll. They had one believer. Only one. And here they are. Well, one outside the locker room. Right. Because <laughs> we know everyone in that locker room in that town knew the Rockets would be in this position. And it's going to be fun to watch those two guys today. Hensler and Burrish. Hensler four blocks in yesterday's game, five for Burrish. The Rockets coming out man to man. And offensively for Anawan. They like to take their time. They're more methodical on this side of the court. They'll try and grind out their opponents and look for good shot opportunities. Burrish trying to post up inside against Hensler. That's going to be a battle to watch today. 
Burrish, nowhere to go with it. Gives it up. Shaw lays it in. Brendan Shaw had five. Uh, check that. He had 13 in yesterday's win. Start the championship game off if you're Brendan Shaw with an easy layup. And speaking of easy layups, Hensler over to Aubel. Will Aubel averages eight points game for the Rockets. Well, Lou, just to let you know how relaxed the Rockets are, before we did our open for this championship game, Will Aubel came by and just tapped me on my shoulder and gave me a smile. I said, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the demeanor this team has. Cool, calm, and relaxed. Then they're done that. Shaw again knifing down the lane. Another good look from Ben Burrish. Speaking of been there, done that, it's like deja vu right there for Brendan Shaw. That take for Wyatt Crony won't go. He had a tough shooting day yesterday as well. One for ten from the floor. If he gets space, can knock down shots. Cross says that one of the better shooters on this team, lefty, has a quick release. That's the matchup of that I'm excited to see. Burrish against Hensley. Landwehr with it. Their leading scorer gives it inside and cuts. Burrish, little eight footer won't go. He averages 12 and a half points a game for the Braves. You're going to see a lot of that from Luke Hensler as well on the defensive glass board. And averages seven rebounds a game, but he snatches it very high. Hensler can't finish after a nice move. Loose ball on the floor. And now the tie up. Good hustle after the ball. A good start for both teams here. Shaw with a couple of easy buckets off nice gives. Actually, that's all the scoring we've had is good cuts <laughs> to the basket. And that's a staple of both programs. They do such an outstanding job of moving without the ball. And it comes from good spacing. You see the Rockets now offensively. They go about four out, one in. You got Hensler about free throw line extended, trying to set up that lob play with Crony and Hensler. Doesn't get it, but the Driving lanes are there, back cuts are there just because of their spacing. Hensler's got a little height advantage. Burrish is a little heavier. Hensler over the double team, gets the roll. 14 and a half points a game for the honorable mention All-Stater. Well, the shooters roll right there for Big Luke. Six, seven, very rangy. He's worked on this game. Transformed himself from just a three-point shooter to a guy that can put it on the deck and score. Another good give from Burrish this time to Landwehr. Well, if you're looking at Owen Landwehr, he's not going to smile at all, unless he maybe gets a dunk. This is a guy that just plays the game, gets his job done, and is stoic with his emotions. Both teams getting it to the hoop. And we'll have free throws when we come back. Landwehr knifing to the basket. Burrish. Doing a good job of giving up the basketball and finding the open man. Thank you. Can I help you today? Uh, no thanks. I'm just looking. Oh, this is cute. <clears throat> so? <laughs> you wouldn't do it there. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Like they're the fashion police. <laughs> work hard and you want to see your efforts pay off watch the bulls take on the clippers visit the free photo booth and grab an authentic fan headband while supplies last be the first kid on your block to get one rocket man is back 
Got to put the lid down, man. I'm, we we Dude, saw this young man yesterday. He, I know he has a hat on, but he's got to put the lid down. <laughs> Take the hat off, put the lid down. Burning out his fuse up hair alone. All right, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it's almost spring. We go with the top down. Nice, nice. I like that, but you're not going to save him. You're not going to save him. You put the lid down and adds to the mis mysteriousness of it, you know? Will Abo at the line. I think you should go have a talk with him. I'll take care I, I of things will. here. You, you go have what? a talk with I, him. I will be back. Because I know you're very upset about it. I that. will be back. 74% free thrower. Swishes them both, and we're tied. How about the representation from both communities here in this arena? Anawan has run the gauntlet to get here. They beat top-ranked Aurora Christian in the sectional final. They beat number seven, Ridgeview, in the super sectional, and beat number six, Newman, as Ben Baresh gets on the scoreboard. Well, Baresh, a nice touch, fading away a little bit from that mid-range jumper. And talk about that win against Aurora Christian. They lost to them in the State Farm Holiday Classic back in December. And how about this from Coach Copians? He wrote a passionate speech right after that loss against Aurora Christian and State Farm Classic. When they faced him in the sectional final, he gave that speech to the players. So he knew that they would face Aurora Christian again and tailored that speech just before that game. So how about the prophecy from Alex on that one? And he's talking about that game, he said that was their first true test of the season. And they worked on things that didn't go right in that game the rest of the season, take care of little things, believe in one another. As the season wore on, they started to rely on each other and trust in each other more, and that has propelled them to the state championship game. Well, Christian has had a stronghold on that number one spot in the state for Class 1A, and that's a big block from Ben Baresh. Baresh says, not today. Just letting Luke know that I'm here. That's all he's doing. He says, Luke, you know what? I know you're, you're one of the best bigs in the state for Class 1A, but I'm no slouch. Just letting you know I'm here. It's going to be a long night. Five blocks yesterday for Burris. She averages three per contest. Here's Frederick King into the lane. And Landwehr rips down the rebound. He averages eight a game for Anawana. And now Frederick King. After the bad shot, follows that up with the foul. Get a look at the versatility of Owen Landwehr. Able to snatch that ball off the glass and push it in transition. A very solid ball handler. Initiate offense with his size and get to the rim. I think the only way part of this game is his strength. Inside to Burrish again. He beat his man and the help side from will Auble. burrish with four speaking of strength ben right there we're seeing it on both ends first the block and then he finishes against some great defense here's Auble off the window nice take he's got six i'll tell you what will Auble came to play he is ready to play some basketball you saw him Get his first two points off a nice cut off the pass from Hensler. And this is going to be a careless turnover from the Braves. Julian Samuels turns it over. Sophomore into the ball game. Second look at Baresh and what he does. A nice little push, a little subtle push to get that layup to go. But then here's Will Albel. Says, hey, Ben, I can match you. Something like this all afternoon. Two great teams. Off balance shot by Hensler, the follow and the whistle as Schilling hits the glass. That's Lane Schilling off the bench, six foot junior. Yeah, we saw Lane Schilling give Coach Cross some outstanding minutes off the bench. Picked up about three charges, too, sacrificing his body for his teammates. He's a 73% free thrower on the season. Tied again. I think this has the potential to be one of those games where we're going to have a lot of tie scores. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're well coached, great individual players, and they play Landwehr together. Landwehr off the window. Getting back to Landwehr and him off the dribble. He has the strength. So if he gets you on his hip, 
He's just going to go along for the ride. Second all-time scorer in the Anawan program history. Here's Hensler off the bounce a little bit. Nice move for the big fella. Very beautiful from Luke. And a slide of foot there, steps through. Good floater. We were tied at 2 2. We were tied at 4 4. Tied at 10. Now tied at 12. Coach Cross is trying to send an extra ball or his defender to Landwehr when he has the ball. Trying to get it out of his hands, make someone else make a play. Shaw thought about it. them get some pretty easy shots after working their offense. We'll see how patient they are here. Samuels lets fly for three. He hit one yesterday. And that's going to be a foul on Schilling on the glass. Shaw with the inside position oh, on right. Schilling. It's a smart move by Brennan Shaw. He's at the free throw <laughs> line saying, hey, ref, I'm shooting. A little moxie right there. Bresh for three. He's hit 20 of them this year. Yeah, he can't knock it down. One minute to go, first quarter, tied at 12. Freder King wants three. His 24th of the year. And that's a smooth jumper from Freder King. He struggled shooting the basketball yesterday. He did it on the defensive end. Four steals for Caleb. Younger brother of the great Noah Freder King. Who was on that second place team last year? And their main scores. Playing his basketball at Evansville now. Schilling came up with the steal and now the whistle, and I believe it's going to be on Schilling. John Krause with his hands upturned says, No, that shouldn't be his foul. And I can understand coaches beef with this. If you're Lane Clearly Schilling, you, ha you have the basketball, that, that's a loose ball in the air. So if you're shilling, you're, you're looking at the official saying, why am I being penalized if I have the ball in the air? Landwehr is underneath me. He's taking my legs out. Shaw for three. Yes. Brendan Shaw with seven. And that's the fifth tie of this game. Check that sixth. Maybe they count 0-0. Zero, zero. Does that count, Lucy? 10 seconds to play first quarter. State championship on the line. Frederick King, time running out. In and out for Wyatt Crony. Well, a little bit of what we expected. Tied at 15 after eight minutes. work hard and you want to see your efforts pay off literally whether you're dreaming of retirement growing your business or leaving a legacy for future generations at Busey we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow we listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family enjoy the achievements of your life and work we'll handle the rest Busey your dream our promise First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for. And the son you didn't. Now, you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Oh, dude, how about a little help? Papa loves the Ices. 
He's got a share though. Come he on, was, man. He was not happy until he got that icy, <laughs> and now he's all about it. All right, see those legs moving. That means that icy is good. You bet it is. Uh, not a cold start for either team. Actually, Anawan shooting 70 percent from the floor. Oakville will match that. Excuse me, not match it, but still doing a good job shooting from the field. 45 percent for them, 50 from beyond the arc. Will Alvo came to play in that first quarter. Six points for him. Luke Hensler, four board, two two boards, four points. Just good action back and forth in that opening quarter. It's always a great sign. I mean, championship. We think the teams will come out a little hesitant. These guys are like, no, jump the ball up. Let's play. Land we're out of the double team. And now they're in some offense. Good recovery from the Rockets on that rotation defensively. Look inside to Burris. Now Samuels. Very patient and on offense this trip. Shaw. High scooping shot won't go. He's leading all scores with seven. Sound defensive stand for the Rockets there. See Anawan, they're going to go to a 2 3 zone. So they're going to continue to switch their defenses throughout this afternoon. Just continue to give Oakville different looks. Rockets doing a good job of taking care of the basketball. No, no turnovers in that first quarter for Oakville. It's impressive. So Anawan hangs their hats on the defensive end. Got off to a great start yesterday. Led, led the Goreville 18 to 5 after one quarter. Yeah, they were in cruise control all afternoon against Goreville. Hensler from outside, and he's fouled on a three point attempt by Samuels. Hensler's got that range. He was a three point shooter primarily a year ago. He's at 31 on the season. Well, if you're Julian Samuels, you just have to look at the stature. And size of Luke Hensler. You're not going to block his shot. So the best thing you can do is just try and get a hand up and run out to him. But on that closeout, he overran it and tried to attempt for a block. If he makes it, he makes it. But your presence being there and running at him helps. But you obviously make it a lot easier for him when you just give him three free free throws. Lucas Frederick into the ball game now for Oakville. Luke Hensler getting some junior college and Division II interest after averaging 14 and a half and almost eight rebounds a game his senior year. Three for three at the line there. Coach says he's worked on his body, still thin, and has that skinny strength. So it may look like he's not as physical, but you get down there and you mix it up with him. He doesn't give much room. Playing defense now against Burrish and takes it away. I'd love to know what his wingspan is at yeah. 6 7. Shaw almost comes up with the steal. What I notice about Hensler's game, especially when he catches that ball high post area and down on the block. He does an impactful and really great job of finding his teammates out of the post. Nice quick passes over to shooters. Peyton Harvey, we haven't heard from him so far, but you better believe if he gets a look, he's going to take it. He's with the rock now. Hens are fine shooters out of that post and double team. We're talking about Hensler. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Wyatt Crony, 61st three of the year. He was 0 for 6 behind the arc yesterday. Yeah, that was a feel good three from Wyatt. You mentioned 0 of 6. It's good to see that first shot go down from the arc. Six point lead for the Rockets. And the three from Samuels. We saw him hit one late in the first half yesterday. Yeah, Julian has a little sauce in his game. I was watching him Thursday shoot around, and we spoke to Coach Copians earlier in the week. He says he might be 5'7 and, and a buck 25, but he'll mix it up. He has game. He has no fear when he's out there on the court. Fourth 
30 to play, second quarter, a three-point Oakville lead. And now timeout. Peyton Hari tied up there, picked up his dribble, had nowhere to go. The threes are flying here with a state championship on the line. Wyatt Crony, and then the answer, another bench player, Julian Samuels. me I'm number one in this class I rule this lab I'm number one hey hey I don't think so yes Winner! I am a king Woo! you wouldn't do it there Woo! so don't do it here sportsmanship it's up to you what jerk Oakville, second in state a year ago, leading fourth-ranked Anawan by three here in the second quarter. Let's listen in on Alex Kopians and the Braves. So again, they're a step quicker than us right now. you got to make sure you get quicker, all right? You just got to put it into your mind to work a little bit harder on the defensive end of the, uh, uh, in the ball. They hit some shots, keep contesting. And He's pretty calm and collected in there for a fourth-year head coach, isn't he? It's the suit. It has to be the suit. <laughs> you put that maroon suit on, yeah. it just exudes calmness and patience. Like Iron Man. You yeah. know, he, yeah. his suit is, you know, <laughs> other than that, he's just a rich playboy billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids said, you know, in regards to the suit, they knew it was a big game when the maroon suit came out. Yeah, that means you, it's time for business. Uh -oh. Three from Crony. Uh oh. Falling out of bounds. His last two have been pure swishes. I tell you, you get him hot and you're asking for trouble. Think how good they were yesterday and he wasn't able to score. Add that to the quiver and oof, it's going to be a really tough team to stop. And we haven't even seen Peyton Harvey start to get himself going in this ball game. Rock has turned that one over. Good. Six point game, Anawan down, but look at Wyatt Crony deep in the ring. And he actually got hit on that shot, too. I mentioned that quick release on this young man. So, again, he's a guy that you have to shadow. You're playing, playing that zone. You have to have recognition wherever 14 and blue is. You lose him, he makes you pay. Along with 62 threes on the season, he's uh, been defending the best player this year for Oakville. He has a lot of heart. And to send Dylan Thurston into the ball game for Anawan. Haven't heard from Burrish for a while. He's battling down low against Hensler. And where either, so they need their two stars to step up now. Down six. Julian Samuels. Samuels says, I'll take over. Samuels the floater. He's got five. He's next in line. He is next in line for Alex Hopion. Just a sophomore. Four-point game now. Oakville's led by six on a couple of different occasions. And we've been tied six times. Hensler looks inside and now a whistle away from the ball. Take another look at Julian Samuels on offense. Julian driving Blake baseline and float on. <laughs> float, float on. I'm trying to get my way out. <laughs> well, you're, way, you're way past that level. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was good. It's good recognition from Sam. He's on that baseline. I mean, how many guys will pick up their dribble? He's only a sophomore, but gets that thing in the air above the defenders. Throwing three is short on that attempt. 
Here comes Owen Land, where the All-State are bringing it across for Anawan. Burrish. Got to the hoop, couldn't finish. He tried to go with the left hand to avoid Hensler on the block. Anawan fans wanted to walk there as Hari almost dragged that pivot foot. Anawan folks think he did. Landwehr comes up with the steal. Well, they have to stop the basketball. Open space for Landwehr is a green light. He doesn't get the bucket, he'll go to the line. He's just so steady with that basketball in transition. Oh, the, and with the pressure. Shooting foul. Landwehr at the line. Releases himself from that pressure with the smooth behind the back move. And again, he, he gets you on his hip, and he's so strong that you're just going to go along on the riot for him. So it's either one of two things. He's going to score or you're going to foul. But he continues to push the defense down deeper to the court and in the lane. Six points for Owen Landwehr, who had 19 and was 5 of 5 from the floor yesterday against Newman Catholic. Yeah, he put on the show. First got a hand on that one. Hari recovers for Oakville. Good ball movement. Crony open for three again. That one's short again. Made two, missed two. Abel can't get the reverse layup to go, and Burrish is there for the rebound. He averages seven a game. Yeah, Abel just rushed that lefty reverse that time. Got to power up and finish those. Juan can take the lead with a three. Inside, Burrish battles for it and gets it. And you saw the physicality of Ben Burrish on that basket. And yeah, Burrish on that, just establishing post position and keeping Hensler on his back the entire time. That is grown man strength there. It's been a three-minute score drop for Oakville. Smart move from the Rockets. They're going to hold this thing out for the final shot. See the defense extended for the Braves out of that 2-3. Samuels and Shaw are up. Just trying to give any little pressure they can on the ball handlers. A 9-3 run for Anawan. And we are tied for the seventh time in the first half. Hari. Nice look inside, thrusted up by the Anawan defense. The help defense for Anawan denying Oakville and sending us to the half with a 24 all tie. Take another look at Ben Burrish tying this game, and you can just see the grit on his face as he muscled up and took it strong to the hoop. And that, this is a weight room basket right there. That was a tight end basket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to Sierra. Owen oh, Lamber with a little bit of a cut on his thumb. What happened there? Uh, he dove on the floor, got a little bit of a blood blister. We had to tape it up. Um, we're going to pop it at halftime so that it doesn't pop in the middle of the game. Um, he's good to go. Nothing to worry about. Nevertheless, you've had your bench step up as well. What do you think of their contributions? It's been huge. Julian's played some huge minutes for us. Dante had to go out early uh, due to foul trouble. Um, and he's, he's done great defensively. He's been scrappy uh, and then offensively hitting some big shots. We've needed those shots and we're going to continue to need to get those outside shots going for us. But uh, we got a big stop there towards the end of the half and hopefully keep that momentum. Well, you got some work to do in the locker room, so we'll let you go. Let's go back over to Lee. All right, Sierra, thank you very much. A couple of six point leads for Oakville and one with a run here to close out the first half to tie this ball game. We are 16 minutes away from a state championship. Might be a little more as these two teams go back and forth here today. There's just one place where students are students first and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives. 
including academics, high school sports, a winning part of a complete education. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> The best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at Country Financial. We are back in Peoria again, where Oakville and Anawan are all tied up 24-24 at the half. It has been a very exciting half of basketball. And now I am joined by a very special guest. We'll go ahead and have you take up that. Okay, go ahead and tell everyone who you are. My name is Steve O'Neill with Country Financial. Awesome. Now, Steve, uh, how can Country Financial help families of all ages prepare for the future? Well, we can help families in a lot of ways at all stages in life, regardless if it's the 16-year-old that's just getting this driver's license for the first time or the young married couple. So we can help all along the way and simple steps to help them. Uh, we're here for all their insurance and financial needs. Why is supporting high school sports so important for Country Financial? We have our Country Financial player of the game, so why is that? You know what? It's a long history with Country Financial and IHSA, and it's a very good relationship. And we kind of tend to pattern ourselves in a similar manner where we like to see people successful. Uh, and the IHSA, IHSA does the same as far as helping these young kids and fulfilling some of their dreams. Well, we've got another exciting half of basketball. I know, what a great yes. First half, right? I, I'll see you down on the court, right? You're yeah. going to have good seats? Yeah, yeah, very good. All right, that's yeah. what I thought. Thank you so okay. much for all Thank your you. support and everything you, you do. We appreciate it. Thank you. themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines.
Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get well, there you have some very happy Rockets as Oakville just won the best students section. Oakville and Anawan currently tied at 20, 20, 24 to 24. It's been a thrilling half of basketball. Everything we were expecting from the 1A title game. Now I want to bring in one half of our play-by-play -play team, Cameron Smith, to go over a little bit about what's going on in the first half and what we can look forward to in the second half. Now, Anawan has been, has been switching it up defensively. How have they been able to disrupt Oakville's offense? Well, they switch it up from man to man to zone, just giving them different looks. So they'll throw some traps on the wing just to keep the Rockets on their toes. So they don't want Oakville to get comfortable on the offensive end. And that's a great way or a great approach to have when you're facing a very, very versatile offensive team and so forth. And Awan, they hang their hats on the defensive end. It's a smart move by them and Alex Copianis. Both teams with just two turnovers apiece. Something's got to give. I mean, both are handling the ball really well. Yeah, and it's very surprising, especially in this championship game. I mentioned to Lee uh, early in the first quarter that usually you will see those, you know, championship pregame jitters. Not with these two teams. They were ready to play, and taking care of the basketball obviously gives you more opportunities to score and put your team ahead. So it's, it's been a great first half of basketball. All right, thanks so much, Cameron. We've got more 1A championship basketball coming your way. Stick with us on NBC Sports Chicago. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. National studies show that students who participate in activities like music, sports, and drama not only have better grades and attendance, but they develop the character to handle adversity, the grace to accept defeat, and the self-confidence to start over. Take part. Get set for life. is nowhere near Broadway and none of these actors will be accepting an Oscar anytime soon still they are rehearsing for something important while they learn their lines they're also learning teamwork discipline self-confidence that everyone has a part to play skills that will make them stars long after the curtain falls the National Federation of State High School Associations reminds you that when kids... We're back here with Coach Krause, and Coach, you said earlier this week that you guys aren't afraid to play in big games. Your team came out, they look confident. What's it going to take for them to pull ahead and take that championship home? Well, we got to get a few more stops on defense. Uh, I, I thought we gave them too many easy baskets. You know, some of the baskets they made are tough shots and shots that we're okay with giving them. I'm okay with that, but I thought early in the game we gave them some back cuts and things like that that we, we haven't been planning on doing. So we have to shore up our defense a little bit, and we have to attack their zone a little bit better. I, we got a little stagnant there. We made a couple threes, and, and then we got a little stagnant. We stood around a little bit. So we got to get a little more movement against our zone and see if we can get into the middle of that zone or some. All right, so other than this defensive stops, what adjustments are you going to make right now? You know, not too much, really. I mean, it's, it's really hard because we don't know all their kids all that great. But uh, I just think that we got to execute just a little bit better offensively. And then on defense, I think we just got to do a better job of, of, of keeping in our gaps and keep our assignments and just shore those things up. So no major adjustments, just shore things up a little bit and, 
and try to uh, play this 16 minutes just a little better than we did first half. All right, thank you so much, Coach. Good All luck. Right, thank you. We have second half action coming your way in just a few minutes. You are watching the IHSA 1A state final game on NBC Sports Chicago. Thank you. Can I help you today? Uh, no thanks. I'm just looking. Oh, this is cute. <clears throat> so? <laughs> you wouldn't do it there. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Like they're the fashion police. <laughs> Thank you. Can I help you today? Uh you work hard, and you want to see your efforts pay off, literally. Whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations. At Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. Thank you. Can I help you today? Uh, no thanks. I'm just looking. Oh, this is cute. <clears throat> so? <laughs> you wouldn't do it there. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. Lee Hall, Cam Smith, Sierra Santos back with you in the River City as Oakville and Anawan are dead even headed into the third quarter. Peyton Hari did not attempt a shot for Oakville. While Wyatt Crony hit a couple of threes, he didn't score, or he did not hit a three, I should say, yesterday. Both teams shooting it pretty well. Oakville 40%, 62% for Anawan. And Hari, apparently he was listening. <laughs> he must have heard you. It's about time a teenager listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have it at home very much. Two-point lead for the Rockets. They've led by as many as six. And now the takeaway by Auble. Yeah, that's thievery right there on the baseline from Will Auble. Giving Coach Cross some outstanding minutes through so far these three quarters. Haven't heard too much from Caleb Frederick-King. One of the leaders on the team, only three points. A couple of fouls and a couple of turnovers. So he's, he's struggled, but at the same time, they rely on him to just calm them down and get them within their offense. Very reliable ball handler. Patient against this Anawan man-to-man. We -man. played a minute here in the third quarter. Awful drives, gives inside to Hari, flips it up there as he lost control. And the Braves bring it the other way. And Wolf called for the charge, had that elbow out. Pretty easy call there. First on Wolf. You're a young basketball player. Watch Peyton Hart. Thought he got fouled on one end. Didn't get the call, but look at him sprint back down to get in position to draw this charge on Wolf. That's why a lot of coaches teach players, hey, forget about the last play, go make the next play. Rockets a heartbreaking loss in overtime in last year's state championship game. Looking to avenge that here today. Told the coaches at the reception the next day that we will make it back to the state championship game. And Wyatt Crony hits another three, his third of this game. That is beautiful basketball. And Wyatt's pointing to his, his arm. He's hitting his veins saying, hey, it's in my blood. Cold-blooded from young Wyatt. Alex Kopians calls timeout. 
Started off the dribble penetration from Caleb Frederick. Look at the bench. They know what that means. Shooting some arrows, <laughs> all that. Getting on the bench celebration in. But it started with Caleb Frederick breaking down the defense and with the left handed pass to find Hari. And Hari obviously making the right basketball play to kick it to the corner to Crony. Crony 1 of 10 from the floor yesterday, 0 of 6 behind the arc today. Three of seven behind the yard. And you find the hot guy, right? That's, that's what they tell you. Rock is doing just that. No one land where the Braves looking to answer. Oakville coming out scoring the first five points of the second half. Bursch gives inside and Shaw draws the whistle. How about the patience from Brendan Shaw? Just so deep underneath the rim. Knew he wasn't going to get a clean attempt up, so just paused for a quick second. Kind of gave the eye fake. And Gassel got it, got Hensler up in the air. Brendan Shaw, the 5'10 senior, just 58% at the line this year. Samuels comes back into this ball game for Wolfie. Alex Copians trusting the young pup. Saw him in the semifinals get some good minutes with him. He's going to him early. Brendan Shaw now with eight. And looking at Samuels now, so as the Braves go man to man, he's going to check Wyatt Crony. Ari thought about it and then reloads and hits. Yeah, it was miscommunication on the baseline from Samuels and Dante, and excuse me, Brendan Shaw. They got mixed up. They didn't switch properly and allow Harvey to get a clean look. His 57th three of the year. And that's the biggest lead of this game. Burrish into the lane. Floater. Looked for a call. Didn't get it. Guys were elected to shoot that shot at Wyatt Cronin. Gets the ball back out so they can set their offense. 8 1 run for Oakville to start the third quarter. Inside to Hensler. He makes a power move and scores. Hensler with nine. You get Luke Hensler that deep into the paint, you better write two points in the book. Beautiful job of establishing post position. Kept the defender on his back and just used his length to score. Anawan looking for its first field goal of the third quarter. Instead, it'll be Burrish at the line. We were tied less than four minutes ago, but the Rockets have come out fired up in the third and lead it by nine. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved, the daughter you planned for, and the son you didn't. Now you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Whoever got word to him, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just for you, buddy. And well, no wonder they're fired up. A 10-1 start to the third quarter for Oakville. And this is why they are so dangerous. Once they get their outside game going, knocking down shot, shots, and they've knocked down well over 40% from the arc throughout this game at this point. 
You mix that, and then you get your big man involved. Luke Henson, defender on his back. You get him that deep. It's two points in the book. So that's why Oakville has been on such an outstanding run this season because they mix and match where their scoring comes from. They can take you outside with threes. They can go inside with Henson. It's almost a pitcher poison right now for Anawan. Honorable mention All-Stater Ben Burrish at the line. Honorable mention All-State in basketball. Two-time All-Stater in football and All-State in track and field. So it's safe to say he's going to be in the uh, Anawan Hall of Fame. By golly, if they've got one, he better be, huh? <laughs> the miss and the follow by Owen Landwehr. Owen Landwehr is saying, I should be in that Hall of Fame, too. That makes it a six-point ball game. Landwehr with eight points now. I like the idea from Coach Kopians. You're playing the 2-3 zone, but at the same time, if that ball is at the top of the key, get another defender out there to put pressure on the ball. Frederick King into the lane, kicks to Crony for three, another one yes. for Wyatt Crony. It's surgery right now, Lee. It is surgery what they're doing to the defense of Anawan, and that's very impressive because Anawan is an outstanding defensive group. You do this against one of the better defensive teams in the state in Class A. You got some firepower. Burrish over the double team, doesn't get the roll. You think about it, Anawan only allowed 34 points to seventh ranked Ridgeview in the super sectional. And they've given up 37 here with three and a half to go in the third quarter. They're just trying to stop the momentum some way, somehow. Hey. They're looking for that good shot. Yeah. Very patient this time. So patience is a virtue, right? That's what they mm -hmm. tell me. And the double team forces it out of the hands of Hensler, but Oakville takes it back. And Samuels lost his footing there and turned the ball over. And another crack at it for the Rockets. They've won 11 in a row coming into this championship game. I'm noticing from the Braves, they're starting to tense up just a little bit. It's Landwehr with the rebound in transition now, forcing the issue a little bit. Burrish taps it out. They'll get another try. Good tip out from Burrish. Four and now Hensler team. going for the steal, but Anawan gets it back. Landwehr with a jump stop in the lane and score. Now how did he get through two oh, Rockets Landwehr. defenders? That's a big time jump stop from Owen Landwehr. He sees a little gas because he's pouring everything into this Anawan comeback. Down seven, getting close to two minutes. They know that they have to try and make some sort of run before we start the fourth quarter. Hensler turns into the lane, can't get it. Abel was there. The Oakville folks wanted a foul, and now the reach in on Hari. Yeah, you're not going to take that basketball from Ben Bresh. He's as strong as they come. Better off trying to get a back tip. We're going to check it again. Here's Owen Landwehr splitting right through Will Auble and Caleb Frederick. Auble trying to take that charge, and Owen Landwehr says, okay, you can stay there. I'm going to go over here. Brush battling to keep that ball alive for Anawan. They trail it by seven, almost turned it over here. Samuels is there to pick it up. Control it and turns it over. Yeah, Lambert had a lane, just dribbled that basketball off his foot. Defense had their back turn on the weak side. Hey, Trying to get that ball down to Luke Hensley. Good ball movement. It's very patient, very composed. This boss wants them to run this play again. They call this Illinois and try and get that ball down to Hensler. Instead, it is another three from Crony. 
15 points for Wyatt Crony. Yeah, young Wyatt is flame throwing from the arc. And that's the biggest lead of the game now for Oakville. The lefty rifleman knocking down threes, and he gets a deflection there. Look at the hustle from Crony. They say it was already out of bounds when Crony talked to it, uh, got to it. Kraus, Coach Kraus was having uh, <laughs> words with the officials from about 75 feet away. It's going to be Anawan Ball. Landwehr for three. It rattles in and out. He's only a 25% from behind the arc. Final minute now. And it's a 10-point Oakville lead. The decision to spread out the Braves. Look for Caleb Frederick King to try and get this basketball to penetrate. The vaunted Anawan defense needs to stop here. Crony to the hoop and one. Three the old-fashioned way for Wyatt Crony. Wyatt Crony, have yourself a game. The Rocket student section is up. Their bench is up. The coaching staff loves it. Wyatt Crony has been a breath of fresh air for Oakville High School. Averaging nine points a game, the three-point play would give him 18. And I like how he walked off after the end one. Like, yeah, I do this. <laughs> this is what I do. A 13-point lead for the Oakville Rockets. Second a year ago, lost to Effingham St. Anthony in overtime and lost 34 points in scoring, but they are eight minutes away from a state championship. Boo! <laughs> hey, hey, where are you going? Kick it by me. I'm number one in this class. I rule this lab. I'm number one. Hey, hey, I don't think so. Yes! Winner! I am a king! Woo! You wouldn't do it there. Woo! So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship, it's up to you. What? Jerk. There's just one place where students are students first. And athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Oakville leading by 13 after a 19 to 6 third quarter. Let's hear what John Cross had to say to his team. All right, you have eight minutes. Compete for eight minutes. Just compete. That's all I ask. Compete. All right. Compete until one, two, three. Rockets. Sounds easy enough. I love it. I love it. Man, did they he, compete in that quarter. He, he's not asking to keep shooting how you're shooting or keep penetrating, any of that. Just compete. He knows when his players compete, they will be in a great position to win a ball game. 70% from the field in that third quarter lead from the Rockets. 80% from three. Inside to Burrish with the power move. That's a great way to start the fourth quarter for the Braves. His first field goal of the second half. We need a lot more of that. Remember, when Anawan was successful in the first half, it's because they mixed what they were getting offensively. Baresh inside the paint against Hensler, 
Owen Landwehr got himself going. We're gonna make a run. It's gonna have to happen in the next few minutes. Hensler from the elbow. And here come the Braves. They could use a run. Bresh driving into three players. Landwehr picks it up. Lucky break for the Braves. He tries from the opposite elbow and scores. How about that? Your two leaders step up. Bresh on one end. On Landwehr coming back on that same end with the pull up. Making it a nine point game now. Here we go, Lee. A good start to the quarter for the fourth ranked Braves. I mean, look at Hensley and Bresh down there battling. Hari from three. His second three of the half. Wow. That's the wild card right there for the Rockets. Peyton Hari saw him knock down one in the third quarter from the corner. He gets hot. You're, oh, man. <laughs> Just in a tough position. They're shooting the basketball very efficiently. Burrish wanted a three. And that's what happens when you uncharacteristically get down. You start doing things out of the system. Burrish is a good player, but that's not his area to knock down threes. Try to go inside to Hensler. He got bumped by Burrish, but no whistle. And how about the ball game for Wyatt Crony? Shaking off a tough shooting day in the semifinals. 18 points on the strength of five three-pointers. Wyatt the assassin. Just love his demeanor, too. He's, you know, not getting too high, not getting too low. Like, all right, well, we got more time to play. Thank you, guys, but let's finish this thing off. Samuels misses the floater. I remember a tale of another Wyatt sharpshooter. Remember? No, no. We found another one here. Yeah. <laughs> that Wyatt's from Monmouth, though. Burrish almost comes up with the steal. And now an over and back call against Hensler. Well, we have to get a second look at that and see if Burrish hit that basketball before it went over half court. Those two guys have been competing. Get a second look at this, and it, was a well, it, went, it went off Hensler's knee. It did. That's that would appear to be the right call. Shaw wants the three. Yes, Brendan Shaw with his first field goal since the first quarter. Competing is in the DNA of the Braves. 5:15 to go. Down nine again. Can they continue to get this lead? Somewhere where they can continue to battle back and get it. Freddie King says, Cam, I'm going to push this thing back up to 11. His older brother, Noah, averaged 21 points a game last year for the Rockets. Here's Landwehr to the hoop. Landwehr. He's got 14. With the wraps of all wraps right there in the finish. Be a great clothing line, wouldn't it? No, yeah. Owen Landwehr <laughs> at five men's stores everywhere. 440 to play in this one. Anawan trying to make a run here. Trying to get back in this one. Down nine. Hari for three. Doesn't get it to go. That would that would have been a big one. And we're cleaning the glass, and here we go. The Braves on the attack. Haven't heard much from Dante Weathersby. On either end of the floor, he's more of a defensive guy. That threw a short by Burrish. Another three. He didn't learn his lesson on the last one. Settling for threes. They are down nine. They need a lot of points. Landwehr giving them two on the nice take to the hoop. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com.
our win trust play of the game, Wyatt Crony. Sure, he's hit five threes, but this is a three-pointer the old-fashioned way. He scored the last nine points for Oakville. Long stepping to this and one. Young Wyatt, so impactful for the Rockets. And you know that they can start to feel it, Lee. 4.06 to go in this fourth quarter. Up nine, the game isn't over, but at the same time, this is something that has been a year in the making for them. I should correct that. I believe Crony scored the last nine of the quarter in the third. As Hari has hit a three, and Caleb Frederick has hit a field goal here in the fourth quarter. 48-39. Two one press. And Anawan defense looking for a takeaway. Crony double team and now a whistle and a timeout called by John Krause. Interesting. Both of these coaches coaching their alma maters. John Krause played for Dave Luchtefeld, who coached in uh, 38 years and got 738 wins. And he talked about carrying on coach's legacy as the head coach at Oakville now in his 18th season. On the flip side, Alex Kopians talked about Anawan basketball being in his blood, being a part of him, and wanting to continue that on for the rest of his life. Yeah, he believes Mar maroon and white. I mean, that's just who he is. He's improved every season in the win total for his group. First season, it went 5-24, and 24, and then listen to these numbers for the next three seasons. 27-7, 29-4, and 30 and 3 this year. Alex Copians knows the game of basketball. And it was Weathersby getting a hand on it. Landwehr coming away with it. Landwehr walked, but got away with that too. Oh, 16 for Owen Landwehr. He got a little flat tire there. His legs gave out a little bit. <laughs> Seven point ball game, and now a whistle against the Braves as they apply the pressure. I mentioned Dante Weathersby hasn't done much in this game on the defensive end, but he came up with a big deflection there that led to the Owen Land where there's a flat tire, and that definitely was a walk lead. Lost his footing a little yeah. bit there, too. Still got it up. Okaville breaks the pressure, and now the whistle on Anawan. The 14 foul on the Braves. Second foul on Brendan Shaw. He's had a nice game, 11 yeah. points, hit a couple of threes. Big first half from Brendan, but we haven't heard much from him since. And one guy that's been unsung in this game Lee, is the man right there with the ball, Caleb Fredekin. So poised with that basketball running this offense for the Rockets. Finding guys all afternoon. All but blocked. Saved and another chance for Oakville. Crony fakes the three, now gives to Hari. Good patience, good discipline by Oakville, huh? It is gorgeous. It, it really is gorgeous. They are so confident in understanding of how to run their offense and knowing time and score. I mean, so many players on so many teams would have shot a few threes at this point just off the loose rotations of the defense. It's a well-coached ball club. They're not going to take the candy. They're going to make you work. And a foul away from the ball. And if it's on Weathersby, that's his fifth. It is. And he knows it. He's walking right over to the bench. Julian Samuels will take his place. Now, we talked about Oakville. We talked the fact that they were here a year ago at State. This is the fourth straight trip to State for an Oakville team. They went two years in a row in baseball, and three of the kids out there today for Oakville, Crony, Abel, Hari, all played on those baseball teams, so they are no stranger to the moment. Yeah, the that's, big moment. That success translates. The lead is seven. Buffalo second is going to put that I did too. <laughs> well, he's hit 31 of them this year. He has. Not the time for it now. Not if you're Oakville. 
I'm trying to force Anawan to foul him, and there it is. So now you're looking at the Rockets heading to the free throw line. It's a bonus situation. It's going to come down to free throws. If they're going to win this state championship, they have to make free throws. Caleb Frederick King is a 65% free thrower. A starter on last year's second place team. First trip to the line today. Well, I speak for all younger brothers when I say this, but <laughs> you know Caleb wants to outdo oh, yeah. his older brother Noah and get this state championship. I mean, that's something that he'll have for the rest of his life. Noah was texting the guys. Super sectional game, encouraging them. I think he wants it for him too. Yeah, I agree. 49 41 our score. Burris gets the three that time. Missed two in a row, but gets a big one there. That makes it a five point game with two minutes left. Quickly ahead, but Crony didn't have time. The defense recovered. Good decision from Crony to get that ball back out. You want to force Anawan to foul you again, but you got to make free throws. And if you're the Braves, you got to make sure that you're fouling the proper guys. You don't want to send a guy like Peyton Harvey to the line, shooting 73% on the year, but there's Baresh dialing that one up. We saw him on the first couple of attempts. They were short. That one was just right. 35% behind the arc. And now Harvey with the miss. And here come the Braves. a two possession game a minute 33 left Burrish feeling it from three that short and the rebound to Hari and now Burrish whistle for the foul to set up the free throws again for Frederick good look Alex Copian has been Burrish Trying to look at that clock to see what kind of situation they could be in, possibly after these two free throws. If you're Oakville, the job is simple. You make free throws. You make free throws, you're state champions. Another miss for Frederick King. Well, I should say it sounds simple. <laughs> They've been struggling. Landwehr takes it into the lane and gets a call. That's just the fourth team foul on Oakville. Second on Hensler. Got to keep an eye on Julian Samuels. So I'm knocked down on three in the first half. Wolf for three. It didn't really need a three at that point. And now a foul on Shaw. And the timing score is so crucial. Double bonus now. Minute and eight seconds left. You can get that three at any time. You want to try and get something going to the rim. Try and draw a foul. Maybe get an and one with the clock stop. Alex Kopians finished fourth as a senior in 2009. Trying to will his team to a championship here. Hari makes the free throw. This free throw would make it a three possession game. And he does. Ten points for Peyton Hari. And John Krause calls timeout. They try and set up their defense and figure out where the points are going to try and come from Anawan. So you better believe that, obviously, with his extensive coaching experience, that John Krause is going to have his guys in position defensively to make sure that they don't foul first and then try and get the stop. Don't forget, during every NBC Sports Chicago Bulls game, we're streaming live. So if you're stuck at work or on the go and want to watch the game, head to NBCSportsChicago.com or download the NBC Sports app presented by State Farm. The Bulls. Lee Hall, Cameron Smith, Sierra Santos with you in Peoria. The Oakville kids won the uh, competition, IHSA competition for... Uh, Crowd support. Yeah. I love that sign, too. Small town, big dreams, baby. Well, they talk about rocket pride. And I asked John Krause earlier this week, what does that mean to you? And he's like, you know, it's all I've ever known. It's what you do on Tuesdays and Fridays in a small town 
it's ingrained in us. They get 1,500, out of 1,500 people, they get 2,000 people for their home games. That tells you what basketball yep. means to the town of Oakville. They're a minute eight away from a state championship. Anawan has come back in this fourth quarter after trailing by 13 after three quarters. You see with those fans at the games that they play, the gyms that are constantly sold out. They said they, the, the big stage doesn't, you know, it doesn't make them afraid. They don't care about the big stage. They just want to go out there and get the job done. They're, they're familiar with these settings, loud noises, big crowds, tense situations. Something they thrive in. Landwehr gets the whistle after missing the shot. And it'll be two free throws now for Lane Schilling. Schilling's two of two at the line today. That's smooth. 72% from the line on the year. Oakville bench can smell it. Trying to hold those smiles in, trying to look at the jumbotron, trying to be cool. <laughs> Act like they don't see themselves up top. Two big free throws for Lane Schilling. Under a minute to go now. It's back to a nine-point lead for Oakville. Landwehr off the window and a timeout for Alex Kopion. Good elevation on that floater from Landwehr. He's Gray's, got 18. Gray's going to try and uh, set up their defense. 45 seconds left. Still a lot of basketball to be played. You're down seven. You try and force some kind of situation. Maybe a turnover, but you want to get the ball in the hands of one of the poor free throw shooters for the Rockets. Seeing Caleb Frederick King struggle from the line. 65% on the year. So if you can force him and funnel that ball to him, and if you don't get the turnover right away, you got to foul him. Our gift of hope, assist of the game. Ben Burrish, the honorable mention All-Stater to the first team All-Stater, Owen Landwehr. Landwehr with the reverse layup. So strong, finishing at the rim. Burrish had three assists in the first five minutes of this game. He's doing, doing work from the high post, finding guys cutting, dribble penetration, and kicking out to shooters. Wyatt Crony leading all scorers. Actually tied with Landwehr with 18 now. Landwehr the second all-time scorer at Anawan High School. Can they make a miracle happen in the last 47 and a half seconds? And on the flip side, Oakville. Trying to hang on and put last year's heartbreak behind them. Full court pressure. Tell Hensler to get out of there. They don't want him to get fouled, although he's a good free thrower at 75%. I think they just didn't want him to handle the ball. Right, that far exactly. Away from the basket. Exactly. He will go to the line here as he draws the whistle. The Braves chose not to foul Frederick King down on that baseline, so they want to try and get that trap in. Force a turnover. Uh, he sent Hensley to the line. Three of three at the line today. He's now in double figures with 10. That's three Rockets players in double figures, three Anawan players in double figures. Coaching staff for all the Rockets trying to get them set on the defensive end. And Coach Cross is going to bring in Will Alble. Haven't seen much of him in this fourth quarter. The Rockets show pressure here with 39.8 left. It's a smart move. You want to try and run some extra time off that clock so you put a defender on the ball. Landwehr, Schilling in the lane, hits the deck. The officials look at each other, and it's going to be free throws for Landwehr. Trying to shake off that ball to the floor. Looking at head a little bit. Three of three at the line today for Owen Landwehr, and he gets the shooter's roll there. 19 for him. 
good thing about this situation for the Braves, it extends the basketball game. So get the clock stop, try and get some points. Set up your defense again and try and force a turnover. If not, you got a foul. Probably Caleb Frederick. Instead, they foul Hari. He's a 73% free thrower. Hari, two of three at the line today. That's three on Landwehr. This was a 13 point game after three quarters. Great effort by the fourth ranked Braves as they clawed back to within five, but Oakville has stemmed the tide and they are 29 seconds away from the state title. Yes, they are. A lot of teams would, teams would have folded, Lee. When Oakville went on that power run, they would have folded. Not Alex Kopian's team. Well, earlier in this year, Oakville might have folded six of their eight losses. They led by five or more in the fourth quarter and lost. That was a concern for John Krause early on. But it, in the end, he says it's paid off. We learned how to win. And they are 24 seconds away from just that. As Oakville will go back to the line. And you can see the, you can see the Oakville players looking at each other, looking at the coaching staff. Will Abel is out there telling everybody to focus, take your time, trying to calm everybody down. Good leadership from a junior. Yep, he wants them to finish the job. Ari. Now five of five at the line in this fourth quarter. Check that four of four. Now he's five of five. Samuels for three. And Oakville, after a heartbreak a year ago, only one vote in the final AP poll. They are going to bring home a state championship to Oakville. The emotion right in front of us. Heartbreak a year ago and tears of joy in 2018. Yeah. Big hug from our friend Rick LaHue, the IHSA host. You couldn't write it any better. Not at all. Redemption at all. in sports is one of the greatest parts of sports. Second a year ago, a heartbreaking overtime loss. You lose two star players. The kids say, we're going to be back. It sounded, it sounded yeah. courageous a year ago. And here they are, state champs. It's the power of the mind. I mean, it's the power of the mind. You set your mind, you set your goals to it. And that's what they did, they achieved it. Wyatt Crony, talk about redemption. One for 10 yesterday from the floor. 18 points today. He's the leading scorer for the state champions from Oakville in our country financial player of the game. Great run by Anna Juan. You know, like you said, they could have folded the tent down 13 going into the fourth. They came back and battled. This Oakville team... There was, uh, there was a little bit more at stake for them. A little bit more that, that feeling of, uh, of wanting redemption from yeah, a year ago yeah. driving them to this state championship. Sierra is with the head coach of state championship, Oakville. First off, Coach, congratulations. How impressive was Wyatt Crony today? Well, you know, we've been waiting for this from him for about, oh, you know, three or four games. He's just been in a little bit of funk, and we've just told him to keep, keep shooting, keep shooting. And, um, you know, I, I had a gut feeling at some point in time he was going to bust out. He had a big one for us in the super sectional. And, and um, you know, once he gets going, he can really shoot it. And once he made that first one today, I had a really good feeling it was going to continue. 
Your guys have impressed you all season long, maybe even surprised you at times. How hard did they compete today? Oh, they gave it everything. I mean, it was probably one of the better games we played all year. You know, we spread the ball around different guys, and um, we guarded a really good basketball team, really tough for, you know, 32 minutes. But uh, just uh, really proud of these guys for getting back here and, and just um, competing every single day. I mean, they are just a uh, great group of kids. This question is for both of you. What does this championship mean to Oakville? What does it mean to Rocket Pride? Everything. It's the first championship we've ever won here, and it's everything to me. It's, we've been waiting for it our whole lives. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's the first state championship in the school history, and we got a really proud history at our school of basketball, and for these guys to put the first championship on the banner, I couldn't be more proud of them. When you guys look up at there in those stands, how exciting is it for your fans? It's awesome. It gives me goosebumps just looking at them because they came here all the way for us, and it's, it means nothing but Ed the best to me. Uh, like I said, I, it's, hard to, it's hard to put into words, but uh, to, the way these guys battled all season long just got better and better, and, and um, I just, like I said, just extremely proud of them. Did I think we'd be here? I don't know, but they did, and that's all that mattered. Well, congratulations, guys. You did it. How sweet is this redemption? Feels pretty good, right? Oh, it feels great. I, and I know those guys that played last year are just as happy as these guys are, I guarantee you. All right. Time to go celebrate. Congrats, guys. Right. Thanks, sir. Thank Trust you. Trust the process. <laughs> Lee, let's go back over to you. Trust the process from our country financial player of the game, Wyatt Crony with 18. Peyton Hari had 14 and 11 for Luke Hensler as they bounce back from last year's second place finish to bring home a state title to Oakville. John Krause talked about carrying on the great tradition of Dave Luchtefeld, his coach. He's added to it here today. Let's go to our PA announcer, Paul Herzog. That large member, Tim Moore of Bloomington High School, representing Division 5. Amy McMahon of Petersburg, Porta, representing Division 6. B. Kent Jones of Breeze Central, representing Division 7, and Greg Bradley of Forsyth, Decatur Christian, the board-appointed treasurer. And now let's meet the fourth place for 1A, the Goreville Black Cats. Superintendent, Dr. Steve Webb. Principal, Jerry Miller. Head coach, athletic director, Thank you. Todd Tripp. <laughs> Assistant coach, Alex Fisher. Assistant coach, Gary Glidewell. Manager, Zane Schutz. Now the Black Cat players, one, Luke Brown. Ten. Peyton Diamond. 11, Peyton Massey. 12, Braden Webb. 13, Morgan Bishop. 14, Cannon Webb. 15, Raymond Lewis. 20, Logan Frisato. 21, Cole Tosh. 23, Tanner Dunn. 24, Logan Hankins. 25, Trent Glidewell. 34, Connor Johnson. 42, Rhett Schutz. And 50, Landon Albright. Now the captains and head coach Tripp step forward to receive the fourth place
fourth place trophy for the Goreville Black Cats. And now the third place team for 1A in 2018, the Sterling Newman Central Catholic Comets. Principal, Kathleen Howard. Athletic Director, Michael Peposi. Head Coach, Ray Sharp. Assistant Coach, Robert Rosengren. Assistant coach, Bruce Tavere. Assistant coach, Andrew Olson. Assistant coach, Gary Velasquez. And now the Comet players. Three, Gary Kerner. Ten, Drake Forster. Eleven, Ethan Behrens. Twelve, Bryce Bartell. Thirteen, Jake Tavere. Fourteen, Cade Gorsney. Fifteen, Julian Heal. Twenty, Connor McBride. Thirty, Travis Williams. Thirty-two, Devon House. 33, Josh Payen. Andrew Velasquez. Jake Ackman. And team chaplain, Father Easton. And now will Coach Sharp and a captain step forward to receive the third place trophy. Congratulations. This announcement for Newman Central Catholic fans, a Comet celebration at the main gym at 7 p.m. Come congratulate the team coaches, 7 o'clock the main gym at Newman this evening. Now let's meet the Anawan Braves, second place, 1A 2018. Superintendent and Principal, Matt Nordstrom. Athletic Director and Assistant Coach, Matt Huber. Certified Athletic Trainer, Lori Anderson. Head coach, Alex Kopians. <laughs> Assistant coach, Brad Hulick. Now the players for Braves number one, Ben Buresh. <laughs> Two, Brendan Shaw. 
Three, Jacob Wolf. Four, Dante Weathersby. Ten, Dylan Thurston. Eleven, Julian Samuels. Thirteen, Owen Landwehr. Fourteen, Isaac Shaw. Fifteen, Reese Grip. Twenty-one, Zach Van Opdorf. Twenty-two, Keaton Kettleson. Twenty-four, Austin Early. Thirty, Ryan Goodman. Thirty-four, Drake Van Hefty. Congratulations, the Anawan Braves. Second place. And now, Coach Kopians and the captain step forward to receive the second place trophy, 2018 1A. Now let's meet the champions, 1A 2018, the Oakville Rockets. Superintendent, Scott Furhoff. Principal, Keith Sr. Scorekeeper, Travis Kuhn. Head coach and athletic director, John Kraus. Assistant coach, Ryan Heck. Assistant coach, Mike Fredericking. Assistant coach, Jackie Smith. Assistant coach, Cameron Obermeyer. Manager, Nathan Lintker. Manager, Jared Barnes. Now the Rockets players, three, Peyton Hari. Four. Lucas Frederick. Five, Caleb Frederick. Ten, Will Abel. Twelve, Jordan Green. Fourteen, Wyatt Crony. 20, Luke Hensler. 22, Carter Killian. 24, Drew Reekman. 30, Tyler Parsley. 32, Tyler Raisner. 34, Peyton Reekman. 40, Lane Schilling. 42, Tom Segelhorst. 
and 50, Jackson Heckert. And now will Coach Krause and the captains of the Rockets step forward to receive the 2018 1A Championship Trophy. Congratulations to all today's trophy winners and the number one team in the state, the Oakville Rockets. Again, you couldn't write it any better. Second year ago, losing a heartbreaker in the state championship game in overtime. Telling your coaches the next day yep. that you were going to be back, and here they are hoisting the state championship. Came to Peoria with unfinished business. That business is finished. Congrats to Oakville. The Rocket Men are sky high. They are number one in the state in Class 1A, knocking off fourth ranked Anawai. Great weekend here in Peoria. 2A championship basketball coming your way tonight. And congratulations to the Oakville Rockets, the state champs in Class 1A. Dream. 